guys, today I'm going to teach you how to properly ask for a person's name. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo from Belter Academy. So there are technically different ways that you can ask for a person's name in French. The first way is simply by saying, Comment vous appelez-vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? So technically you're saying, hey, what are you called, literally? But you're using that form vous, which is again, a more polite form for a person that you don't know. So you would just say, comment vous appelez-vous? And again, remember from last week's lesson, I told you how you would introduce yourself to a person. You would simply say, je m'appelle, and that would be the response. But there is another form that you would use if you're addressing a child or possibly a person that you've been introduced to by a mutual friend or that you feel like you're already kind of connected, you already kind of somewhat know indirectly, and that would be, comment t'appelles-tu? Comment t'appelles-tu? So, comment t'appelles-tu with the tu form? We talked about tutoying a person. Well, that is simply because it's a child, so you have a more informal form for a child, or if you've been introduced by a person that you commonly know, then maybe you just skip that whole vous one, which can sometimes put a distance between you and a person, and then go automatically into using tu. So, comment t'appelles-tu? You might also have a few other little words that are in those sentences. And if you're kind of like, what was those few words that they asked me? Well, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you're already learning something out of this video and subscribe to the channel now. So you might hear something like, hmm, vous vous appeliez comment déjà? Vous vous appeliez comment déjà? Which would mean, what was your name again? Donc déjà, okay, would simply mean again, like you already knew what that person name was or you heard it once but you don't remember or you might hear et vous c'était quoi déjà votre nom oh what was your name again donc you're using non or you might say quel est votre nom quel est votre nom so simply literally what is your name or informal person that is maybe a child or younger than you quel est ton nom ah quel est ton nom if you remember from last week's lesson, I told you that that second form that I just taught you is a little bit less used than that first one I showed you. Finally, I have a little surprise for you. I want to show you how my kids would ask for each other's name. What do you think? Isn't that cute? If you're interested in raising bilingual, multilingual children the way I was raised and the way I'm now raising my children, you might want to get a copy of this book. I'm linking it below for you and there's an audio version coming soon. Next week's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to introduce someone to someone else or how you may be introduced by a common friend. A bientôt tout le monde!